Easy, easy, easy! Well, you're not you're getting pretty risky here. I need to get my other gloves on. You got it? Oh, I need it. Okay, you got it? Ah! As you know, I wear Invisalign, so I have to go out every once in a while to see if my teeth are tracking and, and see if they're moving correctly. So that's exactly what we're doing. And just like that, I'm all done. I don't know about braces, but I do know about Invisalign. I can imagine braces are more time consuming when it comes to appointments and you probably have to go there more frequently. With Invisalign, they literally popped my, my Invisalign out, did a little bit of sanding, and then I'm off. If you're in the Buffalo area and you want Invisalign, go to Owl Orthodontics. These guys are awesome. Yesterday was a big pile, but today it's, uh, it's a smaller pile. So this is the Gator. I wanna give you guys a summary before we get into the Gator today because it's been a while. I originally bought this thing at an auction. I, I had no intentions of ever buying it. I didn't even know it was at the auction. But they started running off prices and I was just seeing what they were auctioning off. They were auctioning this off. I'm like, you know what? That would be really, really cool if I bought that. So I just bought it. Like, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I know it was cool and I know you guys think it's cool. And I knew I could have fun with it no matter what we did with it. I knew absolutely nothing about it. I didn't know if it ran. I didn't know what it had for an engine. I didn't know if the thing moved. I had no idea how it was going to load it. Any of those things, but I, I bought it anyways. Once I got it home, I realized it had an extremely small engine. I don't know the horsepower, all I know is it's a single cylinder Kawasaki engine. I then took it for its first spin with my girlfriend and it ended up smoking and spitting and sputtering. It didn't have anything for power, it was overheating, so I figured we had to fix that. Our last engine was no good. Oh, here's our new engine right here. Jason, how's it going? So Jason just showed up. He, he bought a bike around his area. Um, I'm about to pay him for the bike. The, the cool thing is, is it's the exact same thing as the GS. It's just one year newer, so it's a lot easier to work with. Well, it, it, the carburetors are. The only problem is it's not. The gator. This is a delicate piece of machinery. I know, that's why I don't want it to fall off. <laughs> the gator made it to the warehouse. Now, now the headache begins. What I'm about to say, too many people probably won't be too happy with it. However, it's the only route that I can see right now. Everything is finally coming together to get this project done. Unfortunately, with the bike that I just bought, the 1000cc bike that I just bought, um, it won't work because it's shaft driven. And with this transmission, I'll show you. This transmission, the original transmission, was never made or never intended for a 1000cc engine. Okay, Dalton, just get rid of that transmission and just throw the engine on there and just do a direct chain drive. Now, that would be an awesome idea and you'd have first through fifth gear. The only problem is, is you wouldn't have reverse. You need reverse when you have something like this. That's all there is to it. So instead of slapping that wussy single cylinder that we originally had in here, we're going to make a prototype. We are going to make something that works. We are going to make something that's badass because that's what I promised and that's what I want to deliver. This is the engine we are going to use. This is an opposing twin engine. I don't remember what project this actually came off of. Just putting a second cylinder in this, this thing isn't good enough for me. Uh, to, to make my promise, we are going to turbocharge this thing. So that is the cool factor. So I hope you understand. The Gator project is about to begin. We're gonna have double the horsepower, triple the horsepower, whatever, and we're gonna have something different. Isn't that what it's all about? Just like the original engine, just like the GS1000, just like the bike that we totally bypassed, this is going to need work. We are going to do some serious work to this today and see if it's all at all plausible. 
What are we gonna do if this engine doesn't work either? Like, what the? <laughs> Seriously, what are we gonna do if this doesn't work? Move on. Right off the bat, we're just gonna totally just forget about this. We'll forget. We're gonna forget about the green gator and just totally move to the huge thing. I guess that's what's gonna happen. Right, you you spoke, Jason. You spoke. Don't take my. The word. viewers are gonna love you. You. <laughs> Yuck. Dude, that's not looking good. I don't think the viewers can see it yet. I think we can clean it. Holy cats. You guys, you guys can't see this just yet, but it is. It looks like uh, looks like somebody was smoking in there. Ooh. What the frick? That's not good. <laughs> Yeah, we can get the drugs off. Whenever oh, we need yeah. We uh, we got a good start on the engine. We're not gonna count the engine I just bought. So we went through two engines. This would be number three. Okay. Now, if you take it off, you gotta remember how it goes back on. Only fits one way. No, I'm I'm not saying just this thing. Obviously, I'm saying you know, is there a washer there? Is there a lock washer there? Something tells me that this had a slight oil leak. Just, yeah. just very slight. Yeah, show me the oil, show me the oil, show me the oil. <laughs> we got a little hit on there. I think most of it uh, threw itself on the outside of the engine. I'm still stuck on this one. There was like a pound of gook in front of it. I can already, I can already see the comments right now. Why are you dealing with that piece of that's our only alternative right now. You gotta work with what you got. You gotta work with what you got. Look at this heat that we're working with. I can't, now, now that I'm looking at this, I, well, you know, when it's, when it's I'm not, depressed. I mean, See, these are my junk screwdrivers, and then the good ones are up here. Okay. So these ones are we can like, with. <gasps> you just got demonetized. No, I didn't, I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> okay, if you're gonna do that, we're gonna use a punch. Yeah. Whoa, 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 I want my hands on that thing. I need, I need to, I've gone this far, man. I gotta have some sort of satisfaction. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, those rings look good. Do they? Yeah. They feel good. There you go. Yes. Oh, even the oilers are good. Yes. You're, you're saying as dirty as this is, we have hope? Even pigs clean up. Feels good to be back to the old grind. I, go that way. I gotta go this way. That way. This way over here. Oh, yeah. You like that? You ready? I'll put it in the... Oh, it just shattered. No, no, no. Yeah. No, that did. You got me all, you got me all stressed out. I'm like, oh, just lost the piston. We just left the warehouse. We are heading to Ian's building now. I have to pick up a tool from his place. We also did some part shopping and some miscellaneous shopping. Originally, this gator is belt driven and with, and it's got like a lawnmower style engine. So I'm hoping that this lawnmower style, no, really? No? No! Oh man! I was about to say, I hope that clutch, the original clutch, fits fits on our new engine, but it doesn't look like it's going to, huh? The crankshaft's too heavy duty. So let's start comparing our old engine to our new engine. Our, our old engine, our original engine that was in here, was a single cylinder Kawasaki engine. Um, where's Kawasaki made? Japan? Th this engine was probably made in America, right? Now we're putting two cylinder Kohler engine that was probably made in the USA. Uh, our, our old engine was governed. Uh, thanks to tearing down this engine, we took the governor right out of it. So there, we have no more limitations, which is awesome. And two other things, we're throwing a turbo on this, and the crankshaft's way more heavy duty. It doesn't look like an engine right now, but we had to do this to come up with a parts list. 
We found out that uh, luckily these are really heavy duty rods, but we actually need a rod for this side because the old one is shot. We got parts soaking, we got more parts soaking in that bucket, we got parts on display right here. Get your parts here. We're making moves on the gator.